Hi, I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to be replacing the idler pulley in a Whirlpool electric dryer. You'll most likely need to replace the idler pulley if your dryer is not rotating properly or making some sort of squealing noise. This repair should take about 20-25 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need three tools. Phillips head screwdriver, stiff putty knife, and a 5 16 nut driver. I would also recommend a set of work gloves to make sure our hands stay protected while we're making the repair. If you don't already have a new idler pulley, it is available for purchase on our website. Before repairing any appliance, always make sure it is completely disconnected from its power source. To start the repair, we're going to need to remove the lint screen and remove the two screws at the top of the lint chute. Make sure to catch them before they fall down the lint chute. Now what we need to do is flip up the top of the machine. In order to do that, we need to unlock the two locking mechanisms about an inch in on either side with our stiff putty knife. Make sure the blade of the putty knife is above the two tabs. Push in till it unlocks and then push up. Do the same to the other side. Now that we're going to start working inside the dryer, I would recommend putting on that pair of gloves. There are a lot of sharp edges inside the machine, so we just want to make sure our hands stay protected. Then we can lift the top of the machine up, lean it against the wall. If you don't have a wall to lean against, you can create a suspension system. There are two holes here and here. If you have any wire or string, you can create that suspension system and keep that tension off the wires. Next, we need to disconnect the door switch. So we'll take our putty knife, release the lock tabs on either side of the door switch. so we can pull it apart. Now we're going to remove the front panel. In order to do that, we need our 5 16 nut driver in order to remove the two screws on the front inside of the dryer. Now we're going to remove the front of the dryer. Just be aware that the drum of the dryer will tip out once the front is removed. It's okay, you can leave it, it's not going to fall out. So what we're going to need to do is lift up on the front and back out to get off the latches on the bottom of the dryer and then you can set it off to the side. The idler pulley is located in the bottom right section of the cabinet. We're going to need to get down on the ground in order to reach it. So here we have our idler pulley. In order to get it out we need to release the tension on the belt. To do that, support the drum with your shoulder. Push the idler pulley to the right. That'll take some tension off the belt so you can get it off the motor. And that'll release the system. You can take your idler pulley right out. Now we're ready to put our new idler pulley in. For this part of the repair, I would recommend taking off your gloves just because it does require a little bit of precision. Uh, we're going to need to support the drum. Make sure it's all the way against the back of the dryer. We're going to take our new idler pulley. We're going to slip it into the holes that the first came out of. We're going to take the belt, wrap it around the wheel, and loop it through the bottom. Then we can push it to the right, wrap it around the motor, and that should hold the drum. Give the drum a turn, and we're all lined up. Now we can replace the front panel. Make sure to have your 5 16 nut driver and nuts handy because we're going to be screwing them in as soon as we get the front panel on. Now this can get a little bit tricky. You have to push the drum back. At the same time, you're lifting the front panel onto the hooks at the bottom. Sometimes it takes a little bit of wiggling. 
There we go. Now we can take our nut driver and screw in the nuts. Reconnect the door switch. And we can close the lid. Rescrew in the screws. No gloves needed. And replace the lens screen. Now, wasn't that easy? Here's a quick recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out along with our social media sites here.